Hi, I'm Frankie from EasyPowerWall.com. I'm going to build a power wall, a 60 kilowatt hour power wall, and here you see me drawing the first attempt to create a a frame for the power wall. The frame needs to hold 64 batteries. Total weight with the batteries is over 300 kilograms, so it needs to be very strong and sturdy. I decided to use some rectangular pipe square tubing profile. The sizes are 40 millimeter by 20 millimeter. The width of the uh, steel is 3 millimeter. This can easily hold the batteries and carry the weight of uh, over 300 kilograms. Steel is easy to weld and it's one of the cheapest metals available today. Total price for this project was around 200 euros. I made a few designs and checked with several mechanical and structural engineers to make sure my design was okay. I wanted something that would stand out from the crowd. I was lucky to meet Dries on a maker forum. Dries was willing to help me with the computer drawing and it's thanks to his effort that the design is available to all of you. Feel free to adjust the drawing to your wishes. You can use the base design of Dries. It would be nice to add his name and easy power wall to the drawing as a recognition of our hard work. The files will be available on easypowerwall.com. you find the link below the video. Dries, thanks again for your effort. Some easy power wall goodies will come your way. Together with the plans, the bomb or bill of material will be available too. You can start building right away by sending the bomb to your metal workshop. Sit back, relax and enjoy the movie. Hey, this is my first video. Be gentle, I'm learning along the way. So this is the frame. It's lying on its side right now. It's temporarily welded and now we will do the final welding. Good. The rack is painted for a second time, very happy with the result. Next step is uh, adding the shelves for the batteries and install the batteries into the rack. Et voilà, here is the rack. Some details about the, the rack. 
for how I see the rest of the of the build. I'm gonna put here a shelf. The, the two bottom shelves are for the batteries. I will have uh, 32 cells up here, 32 cells there. On the third layer I will have the bus bars and the fuses and the top layer is to have a some kind of plexi to make sure I don't drop any hardware and make any shorts to the bus bars. So let me uh, install a shelf and show you how I will install the batteries. And here I have the batteries already uh, present at the second layer. These will be compressed against this wooden board here number two and then I can have two rows of 16 cells. Of course I will put some EVA tape uh, between the the wood and the cell and others, all other cells will have some EVA tape as well. So how will I realize this uh, compression? On the other side I welded uh, two bars here on the vertical uh, poles of the power wall. I tapped the uh, M6 uh, into the bar and then via this uh, metal plate that of course will be insulated I will make sure that I can with uh, bolts compress the cells against the opposite side of the power wall. Next step I'll make sure to have some room for these cable trays installed here uh, into the shelf I will make a separate uh, cable tray for positive and negative and then we can populate the shelves uh, with the cells. Oh god, it's cold. So this is the room for the cable tray, the two shelves are on each other, on top of each other and this is the shelf for the bus bars. I just cleaned the surface with some sandpaper and I will just paint the edges to give it a clean black look so it will look very nice with the, with the actual rack.
So here it is, its final destination. I won't have to move it again. So now it's time to install the batteries. Take another giant step uh, towards the power wall. Ah, silly me. I just forgot to paint these uh, edges of the sideboard. So yeah, before I install the cells, I have to perform a little paint job just to make sure everything is uh, the same color black. The rack is installed at its final location. So let's end the video here. Let's summarize the advantages over this rack. It's DIY. You can make the size like you want it. It's cheaper than commercial versions like EG4, Z Plus and many others available on the market. Another nice to have feature is the ability to compress the cells. This will allow you a higher battery life. You will gain a few percentages of capacity and it will save the batteries. If something happens to your rack or your batteries, they're all tied together and it will protect the studs from your battery. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. If you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. This is Frankie from EasyPowerWall.com. See you soon.